G'day guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play Vincent by Don McLean, which is an awesome acoustic tune with some great finger picking. Now in this lesson, I'll teach you two different ways of playing the song. The first method is the studio finger pick version and the second method is an easy version for beginners out there. For the basics of this song, you will just need a guitar and standard tuning and you won't need a capo. Now, if you want to ask your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve in your guitar in general, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Let's jump into the lesson. Okay, so I'll start by teaching you how to play this studio finger-picked version. Now, if you want something that's really simple to just play and sing along, then I recommend checking out the easy version that I teach in the second half of this video. This studio finger-picked version has a lot going on, there's a lot to remember, so it isn't as friendly when it comes to playing and singing along. Now, when Don McLean plays this live, and even in the studio version, he plays this with a variable tempo, meaning that he slows things down and speeds things up, as he goes, depending on the feel of the song. Now to keep things more simple, I'm gonna be playing everything in a constant tempo, but overall for the majority of the song, we're generally plucking at eighth notes, which is one and two and three and four and. So let's start with our finger picking basics and your thumb will take care of the sixth, fifth and fourth strings and your index, middle and ring finger will take care of the third, second and first strings respectively. Ideally, they shouldn't pluck any other strings other than the ones being assigned to. So let's start with verse number one and there's four lines of tab here. We're gonna start with a G chord shape, but we're gonna play it with our ring and pinky finger. So ring just goes on the third fret of the sixth string and pinky finger on the high G here on the third fret of the first string. So get into this position, but then we're gonna start with two lead in notes. So the open fourth string, but hammer on with your middle finger. And then we'll do the same with the third string. So this is where he sings starry starry. So that's the lead in. Then we jump into the G chord. So we're gonna start by pinching the sixth and second strings together. And then the fourth, third and first. So that's the first section. And then we'll go to a G sus four. So just take your index finger and put it on the first fret of the second string. So this is the C note. And we're plucking the exact same notes as our last four plucks. And the bar in total. For the next bar, we'll lift our index finger, pinch the sixth and second strings, fourth and third strings, and at this point, lift your pinky finger and hit the open first string. So. You wanna have that pinky held on from that previous bar up until the point where you need to lift it. And then at that point, you put your pinky finger down on the third fret of the second string. We're gonna pinch the sixth and second strings, then the fourth string, and then Lift your pinky and go down to the first fret of the second string, pluck that, and then you'll take your middle finger and put it on the second fret of the fourth string and pluck that. So. And this bar in total. So from this position, we then go to our next bar, which is an A minor. So all you need to do is keep your index middle where they are, move your ring finger to the second fret of the third string. We'll pluck the fifth, fourth, third, and then open first. And then for the second half, you'll lift your index finger, pinch the fifth and second, and hammer your index finger into place after your pinch. And then the fourth, third, and Lift your index finger and hit the open second string. So this section. And the bar in total. Then for the next bar, we put our index finger back down. So we're staying on this A minor. Pinch the fifth and second. Fourth, third, and open first. Then lift your index finger. Pinch the fifth and second strings again. Then the fourth string put your index finger down and then lift your ring finger and hit the open 
third string. So this second section. And the bar in total. And in total for the first line of tab. For the second line of tab, from this position, we've lifted our ring finger from the A minor. So all we need to do now is take this ring finger and put on the third fret of the fifth string, and we're now in a C position. So we'll start with the fifth, fourth, third, and first strings, and then lift out your next finger, pinch the fifth and second strings. So this is a C major seven, and then fourth, third, and second strings. So this bar. Then we go to a D7 sus2. So it's the same as a D7 chord, except we have our ring finger raised. We're gonna pluck the fourth, third, second, first string, and then we go to a D7. We'll pinch the fourth and first strings, third, second, and then lift your middle finger and hit the open third string. So this bar. Then we go back to our G chord like this. Pinch the 6th and 1st strings, then the 4th, 2nd, 3rd, and then we played the lead-in notes again. And that's it for the second line tab, which sounds like this. Now we get to the third line of tab, and the third line of tab is basically identical to the first line of tab, with the exception of that lead in at the start. So nothing new to learn there. Now the fourth line of tab, the first two bars are identical to the first two bars of the second line of tab. So we've already learnt that, the C, C major seven, D seven sus two, D seven. And then the last two bars are where things differ a little bit. So we're gonna go back to this G chord, pinch the first and sixth strings, fourth, second, third. Then with your index and middle finger, put them on the first and second frets of the second and fourth strings. We're gonna pinch the second and fourth strings, slide it up two frets, go back down, pinch them, and pull them off. So. And that's an eighth note as well. So three and four and, and this bar in total. And then for the final bar, you will just pluck the open third and second strings whilst you get into the G position again. Then the sixth string, fourth string and first string. So the first half. And then you go open second, open third. At this point, lift your pinky finger, put it on the third fret of the second string, and then the open first string. So in total for this bar. And the last two bars. And that's it for verse number one, which sounds like this in total.
Cool, so next we get to chorus number one and there's three lines of tab here. We're gonna start with an A sus2 chord, so it's the same as an A minor, just lift your index finger. We're gonna pluck fifth, fourth, third, and second strings for the first section. Then for the second section, we'll pinch the fifth and second strings, hammer our index finger onto the first fret of the second string. Then the fourth, and with your pinky finger, go onto the third fret of the second string, pluck that, and then the open first string. So the second section, and the bar in total. Then we go to a D7 chord, we'll pinch the fourth and first strings, then the third, second, and third, so. And then for the second section, we'll pinch the fifth and first strings. So this is a D7 slash A. Then the fourth string, third string, and lift your middle finger and hit the open third string. So the second section, and the bar in total. Then we go to a G, but it's a really lazy G. You just need your ring finger on the third fret of the sixth string, or you could use your middle finger as well, it's up to you. We'll pluck that, and then the fourth, third, and second strings. And then we do the same, but with the second fret of the sixth strings. So this is a G slash F sharp, and we're gonna pluck the exact same strings. So this bar. Then we play an E minor, so middle and ring finger on the second frets of the fifth and fourth strings. For the first half of this bar, it's the same as the previous picking pattern. So sixth, fourth, third, and second. And then put your pinky finger on the third fret of the second string. We'll pinch the sixth and second strings. Fourth, third, fourth. So this final bar. That's it for the first line of tab, which sounds like this. For the second line of tab, we go to an A minor seven. We'll pinch the fifth and second strings, fourth, third, and second. Then lift your index finger, pinch the fifth and second, fourth string, hit the open second and hammer on your index finger into place, and then the open third string. So this bar in total. Then we go to a D seven sus two, pluck the fourth, third, second, and first strings and then the fourth, third, second, third. So this bar. And we go to an E minor, and we just strum that whole chord and let it ring out for a full bar. Then for the final bar, we go to an A7. So you can just pivot around your middle finger on that second fret of the fourth string. Ring finger goes on the second fret of the second string. So we'll pinch the fifth and second strings fourth, third, and second. So that section. Then we'll pinch the fifth and first strings, fourth, second, and then third. So this bar in total. And all together for the second line of tab. So we'll move on to our third line of tab. So from the A7 shape, we'll then go to an A minor seven. So you'll just go index finger on the first fret of the second string. We'll pinch the fifth and second strings, fourth, third, and second, and then switch to a D7 chord. And you'll start off with your ring finger lifted, pinch the first and fourth strings, and hammer on your ring finger into place. And then third, second, and lift your ring finger again, hit the open first string. So this bar. Then we go to our G chord, pinch the first and sixth strings. Then third, second, third. Then with your index finger, go down to the second fret of the first string and lift your pinky finger. Pinch the sixth and first strings. Third, 
lift your index finger, hit the open first string, and then the third. So this section, and the bar in total. Then for the next bar, take your pinky finger, put it on the third fret of the second string, pinch the sixth and second strings, fourth, first, and second string, and then we play the lead in notes with your middle finger. So the final bar. And that's it for chorus number one, which sounds like this in total. Alright, next we get to verse number two, and it's very, very similar to verse number one, with a couple of exceptions. So we're gonna cut out the lead-in riffs. So we just jump straight into this G chord. Like that. And everything else is identical except for the end. So for the final line tab, we have our C to C major seven, D7 sus two, D7. But instead of having two bars of G, like in the first verse, we only have one bar of G and it's played like this. We're gonna pinch the sixth and first strings, then the fourth, second, third, then you'll pinch the open fourth and second, then put your index and middle finger on the first frets of the second and fourth strings, pinch them and slide them up two frets, and then lift that and hit the open second and fourth strings. So that second half, and everything's at eighth notes as well. So one and two and three and four and. And that's it for the second verse. Again, it's basically identical to that first verse, just the endings altered a tiny bit. So I'll just play the final line of tab. Next we get to chorus number two, then it's almost identical to chorus number one, except for the end. So for the final line of tab in chorus number one, we had two bars of G. For this second chorus, we just have one bar of G. So it's gonna be played like this. You just need to play a lazy G chord, so ring finger on the third fret of the sixth string. We'll pinch the sixth and second strings, then the fourth, third, and fourth strings. Then we go to an A7 sus two, so it's just your middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string. We'll pinch the fifth and second strings and then the open third string. And then go to a G slash B. So it's the same as a G chord, except you only need your index and ring finger in place. We'll pinch the fifth and second strings and then the open third string. So the second section and the final bar. So that's the only thing that's different in the second chorus from the first chorus, that final bar. So again, I'll just play the final line of tab so you can hear how it sounds. Okay, so now we move into the bridge and the bridge has three lines of tab. Now the first line of tab in the bridge is identical to the first line of tab of the choruses with the exception of the first bar. So it's gonna differ a little bit and it'll go like this. We're gonna start with an A minor chord. We'll pinch the fifth and second strings, the fourth and third, and then open first, so. Then you'll put your pinky finger on the third fret of the second string, pinch the fifth and second strings, pluck the fourth string, open first, and then lift your pinky finger and hit the second string. So the second section. And the bar in total. 
Then the next three bars are identical to basically what we have in the first line of tab of the chorus. So it's that D7 again, the G descending to the G slash F sharp and the E minor chord. So we've already learnt this. So the first line of tab for the bridge. For the second line of tab, we'll go to an A minor, strum that, and just let it ring for a full bar. Then we do the same with the C minor chord. So your next on the third fret, ring and pinky on the fifth frets of the fourth and third string, and your middle finger just on the fourth fret of the second string. So it's C minor, and that's held out for a full bar as well. Then we're going to shift this exact same bar chord shape up one string. So this is a G major bar chord now. You'll pluck the 6th, 5th, and then 4th and 3rd strings together. And that final pluck is held out for a full beat. So 1 and 2 and... We do the exact same thing with the F chord. 3 and 4 and... Then we go to an E7 chord. So it's the same as an E major, except you lift your ring finger and your pinky finger will go on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string. We're going to pluck the 6th, 5th, 4th and 3rd, then the second, so then pinch the sixth and first, and then the second string, and hold that out until the end beat after the fall, where we'll lift all our fingers and just pluck the open third and second strings. So one and two and three and four and, and the second line of tab. One. Then we get to the third line of tab. We start with an A minor seven chord shape. We'll pinch the fifth and second strings, then fourth, third, and first. So then we'll pinch the fifth and second again, then fourth, second, and third. So this bar. Then we'll go to a C chord, pinch the fifth and first strings, fourth, third, and second. Then lift out your next finger, C major 7, pinch the 5th and 2nd strings, go 4th, 3rd and 2nd string, so this bar. Then we go to a D7 sus 2 chord, so keep your ring finger lifted first, pluck the 4th, 3rd, 2nd and 1st string, but we'll hammer on and pull off. So 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and then we go to a G chord, so we'll pinch the 6th and 1st, then go 4th string, 2nd and 3rd, then put your free middle and index finger onto the 1st and 2nd frets of the 2nd and 4th strings, pinch them, open 3rd, lift them, pinch the 2nd and 4th strings again, and open 3rd, so, and from the start. Then for the final bar, stay in this position, pinch the 6th and 3rd strings, 4th, 2nd, 3rd, so. And we play those lead in notes again. So that bar. And in total, the bridge will sound like this.
Okay, so now we get to verse number three, which is identical to verse number two with one exception. So the second bar of the third line of tab. So this G bar, it's cut in half. So now there's only two beats to this bar and we're only playing the first section. So it will sound like this. So in total for the third line of this second verse, it will sound like this. Everything else is completely identical, so there's no need for me to replay anything there. The only thing you need to do is just cut out that second half of the second bar of the third line of tab. And then we get to the final chorus, so the third chorus. And this is the same as the other two choruses with the exception of the final G chords. So after the A minor seven to the D, we go back to our G chord like this. We're gonna pinch the sixth and first strings, then third, second, third. Then with your index finger, go down to the F sharp note on the first string, so the second fret. Pinch the sixth and first strings, pluck the third, open first string, and then third, so. Then your pinky finger comes onto the third fret of the second string, We'll pinch the 6th and 2nd strings, then the 4th and 3rd string, and then the open 1st string. So this section. Then with your index finger, go down to the 1st fret of the 2nd string, pinch the 6th and 2nd strings, 4th string, lift your index finger, hit the open 2nd string and 3rd string. So this section. bar in total. Then you'll hit the open fourth string and hammer onto the second fret with your middle finger. Do the same with the third string. And then pinch the sixth and open second strings. Then the fourth, third and second. So this bar. your pinky finger go up to the third fret of the first string and pluck that and that's the end of the song. So this G section in total and that's the end of the song. So again, that third chorus identical to the other choruses except for that ending. And those are all the parts to the studio version. Okay, so now I'm gonna teach you the easier way of playing Vincent. Now, this is more suitable for the people out there who are just beginners and they want an easy way to play this and sing along, for example. Now, what I wanna note here is that the timing is the most important thing when it comes to playing this song. And in the simplified version, Everything is plucked at eighth notes. So in a bar, we have one and two and three and four and, and we're gonna be plucking on every single one of those eighth notes. Now I'm gonna be using some really basic chord shapes here. And down below where you see one chord in a set of brackets, that just means that chord's gonna be played for a full bar. All right, so a count of one and two and three and four and. So let's jump into this first verse. Now down below, you'll see the tabs as well as the summary of the chord structure. So let's just take this first G chord, for example. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this G chord with just my ring finger on the third fret of the sixth string. A really basic G chord, like that. Now again, what's important here is the fact that we're just plucking at eighth notes. Now I could come up with basically any picking pattern here and I could pluck any string really in any order, as long as I started with the bass note to give it some context, it would be okay. So you could do this if you wanted. One and two and three and four and. I literally just made that up, but I just made sure I started with the bass note. What I'll do is I'll teach you a consistent picking pattern that we can use for all the chord shapes, but I just want you to know that you don't have to be super pedantic and. And what is important is when you pluck the notes, not necessarily which strings that you're plucking. 
Although that does help, it's more about timing and that's probably a better lesson to learn than, than trying to memorize every single note exactly in the right order. Now, if you go and learn the studio version, you'll notice that's basically the same thing. Plucking out eighth notes, we're just adding different notes here and there to, to spice things up. Now, this typical picking pattern that I will teach you for this easy version goes like this. So we'll go bass note, then fourth, third, fourth string. So that's the first section, bass note, fourth, third, and fourth. And the second half of this picking pattern is second, third, fourth, third. So if we play that for the G chord, And we will be basically applying that to every single chord moving forward. There are exceptions here, but I will get to them as we get to those chords. So that's the basics down. Now for the verse one, we'll start with the lead in lick. So it's just the open fourth string, hammer on with your middle finger onto the second fret and do the same with the third string. And this is where you sing starry, starry. So starry, starry. And then we get to the G chord. Now the G chord is gonna be played for two picking patterns or two bars. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And we go to the A minor for two picking patterns. Now our bass note is the fifth string here. It's no longer the sixth string. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Then for the second line of chords or tab, we're gonna C chord playing this for one picking pattern. Then we go to a D7 chord. Now this is where we'll switch up our picking pattern a little bit. We're still plucking our eighth notes. Our pattern is pretty much the same, except we'll shift everything down one string. So we start on the fourth string, which is our bass note, and then go third, second, third, then first, second, third, second. So and back to the G for one bar. Then for the third line of chords, two bars of the G, two bars of the A minor, so identical to the first line of chords really. And then for the fourth line of chords, it's basically the same as the second line of chords, except we have two bars of G, not just one bar of G. And that's it for the easy verse. It's really quite simple. We're just plucking out eighth notes. We'll just use a simple picking pattern here and just follow along with the chord structure below and you should be able to get it. And we'll add that lead in as well to start the song off. Next we get to the chorus and there's three lines of chords here. So we start with an A minor for one picking pattern, then a D7 for one picking pattern. Then we're gonna to go to a G. So we're gonna play that G, but we're gonna pluck it with a different picking pattern. So we're gonna sixth string, fourth, third, and second strings. And then we'll go down to the F sharp note. So this is a G slash F sharp, pluck the exact same picking pattern and then go to an E minor chord and pluck that for a full bar. So we return to our regular picking pattern here. So it's just that G to G slash F sharp where we mix things up a little bit, but we're still plucking out eighth notes. And then for the second line of chords, we have A minor, then we have a D7, and then we have an E minor. And we're just gonna strum that and hold it out for a full bar. Then we have an A7 for a full picking pattern. Then for the third line of chords, we have an A minor for half a bar. So just one and two and, and then we go to a D7 for just half a bar as well. So three and 
four end, and then back to our G for two bars. So that's it for chorus one, which will sound like this. Verse number two is basically identical to verse number one, except for the final line of chords, we just have one bar of G, not two bars of G, but everything else is identical. So really, really simple. For chorus number two, it's identical to chorus number one. Again, we're going to be cutting out one of those final bars of G. So at the end of the chorus number two, there's just one bar of G, not two bars of G, like in the first chorus. Next, we get to the bridge, which has three lines of chords. Our first line of chords is identical to the chorus. So our A minor, D7, G, G slash F sharp, and E minor. For our second line of chords, we go to an A minor. We strum that out for a full bar. Then we go to a C minor. We strum that out for a full bar. So it's index finger on third fret, ring and pinky on the fifth frets of the fourth and third string, and middle finger on the fourth fret of the second string. Then we go to a G chord, we're going to pluck the 6th, 4th, 3rd and 4th. And then we go to F, pluck the exact same strings. And then we go to an E7, we're playing this for a full picking pattern. So the second line of tab, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. Then for the third line of chords, A minor for one bar, C for one bar, D7 for one bar, and then a G for two bars. That's it for the bridge, which sounds like this in total. Next we get to verse number three, and verse number three is almost identical to verse number two with one small exception. So in the third line of chords, the second G is not played for a full bar, it's actually played for half a bar, so it's two beats and not four beats long. So we're just playing half of that picking pattern, so bass note, fourth, third, and fourth string. And I've indicated that G chord with a G with a little apostrophe on top. So just recognize that that is the point at which we're going to play half a picking pattern and then move on to the A minor. But other than that, everything in verse 3 is identical to verse 2. Finally, the third chorus is identical to the other choruses with the exception of the last line of chords where we're going to play this G chord through for three picking patterns and then end by just strumming the G chord and that ends the song. So the final line of tab for the third chorus. And that's everything for the easy version of playing Vincent. 
So now I'll be doing two playthroughs of this song, the studio finger pick version and then the easier version. And I'll have a vocal track on top as well for some context. Big thanks to my friend Eric for lending his awesome vocals to these playthroughs. Feel free to play these back as many times as you'd like to, to practice, play along to, and see how you go. Stay, stay. Catch the breeze and 
Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzerodihero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.